Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jam. This set says that Mr. Pranav, he was seeking admission in a medical college. He wrote a paper of 100 questions. Uh, each question was either easy or difficult. And in each of these 100 questions, there were two parts. One is based on zoology and the other is based on botany. So uh, then certain conditions are given that uh, how many questions he answered correctly or incorrectly, etc. And the marking scheme as well. So this question can be solved by making a Venn diagram. Okay. Uh, because uh, in some cases it is mentioned that he answered only zoology based question correctly. He, uh, he answered uh, both or neither kind of thing. So what we will do is we will make two segregations, one for easy questions and another for difficult questions. And within this also we will have a Venn diagram like this. So let us say this is uh, zoology and this is botany. Now if you go through the statements, it says among the easy questions, he answered 21 only zoology based sub questions correctly. So among easy questions, 21 only zoology based correct. So we are talking this Venn diagram inside we have these correct values. Okay, how many he answered correctly? So 21 questions of this kind. Among the difficult questions, he did not answer 20 botany based sub questions correctly. Now if he did not answer 20 uh, botany based questions correctly means that these this region denotes the ones that he answered correctly in botany. This region plus this region this denotes that he did not answer these questions correctly. So we can write that this plus this like the two cross I have marked here that is total is 20. Okay, so we shall fill it later. Among the difficult questions only in one of the questions he answered both sub questions correctly. So these are difficult questions. Only one question was answered correctly in which he answered both the questions correctly. Okay. Out of the all 100 questions, in 45 questions, he did not answer zoology based questions correctly. Okay. So that means uh, outside this is 45. Okay. So we'll come to it later. So these values add up to 45. So let us fill some more information and probably we'll be able to fill these values. Only in 23 questions, he answered both the sub questions correctly. Now in 23 questions, he answered both the questions correctly. One is here. So we will have 22 here. Okay. There are 30 difficult questions. So that makes our life simple. There are 30 difficult questions. So there will be 70 easy questions. Now, we know that this value is 20. Okay. So there are total 30 questions. This plus this plus this plus this is 30. Okay. Now, if there are uh, 30 and this is 20, so rest should be 10. So this value turns out to be 9. Okay. So this is filled. In two easy questions, he answered neither of the two sub questions correctly. So there are two easy questions in which he did not answer any of them correctly. So this is 2. So that means outside this, that is 2. Now we know that there are 70 easy questions. Now we can fill 70. This is 43, 45. So this will be 25. Okay. So that is 70. Now we have to find these two. These two add to 20. And one more condition that we had uh, skipped thus far was that 45 question condition. So it says out of 100 questions in 45 questions, he did not answer zoology based questions correctly. So he did not answer zoology based questions correctly means these values which are not inside the zoology region. So this is 27. Okay, 27 plus 9 gives 36. So we should have 9 more here. Okay, so 9 more that means that makes it 45. Okay, 27 plus 18 that is 45. Now this 21. So uh, this, this 20 we have to fill. 9 is already there. So this would be 11. Okay, so just add this 12 plus 18 30 and this adds to 70. So all these conditions have been fulfilled and put into the Venn diagram. Okay, now we can answer the questions. In how many easy questions only botany sub questions were answered correctly? So in easy questions only botany is 25. 
in how many questions only zoology sub questions were answered correctly only zoology is 21 plus 11 see the difference is in this it was only about easy questions it is about all questions so we should add these values this will give us 32 in how many questions either both the sub questions or neither of the sub questions were answered correctly so this is both and this is neither so we will add these 24 plus 10 34 so if we talk about both, both is 23 and neither is 9 plus 2, 11. So total is 34. In how many difficult questions? So we are talking about the difficult questions only. Only zoology based sub questions were answered correctly. So difficult questions, only zoology 11. Okay. Now the next question says, what was his final score? Now in order to calculate the final score, Remember that if he answers both questions correctly, both parts, both parts correctly means he will get six marks, just three marks for each sub question. If he answers one correct, if he answers one part correct, what will happen is he will get three marks for that part and lose one marks for the wrong part. Suppose he answers zoology correct but botany incorrect. So he will get two marks and vice versa. If he answers neither of the parts correctly, he will lose two marks in all. So his score will be minus two. So what we will do? We will multiply these values by six. The ones which are in both. Okay. We will multiply these by six. Okay. These we shall multiply by two because he answered only zoology correctly. That means uh, botany was incorrect and he got two marks. Okay. And then this is minus two. Okay. So let's just add the values and calculate the result. So 42 plus 132, that is 174, 224, 224 minus 4, 220 among easy questions. And then 22, 28. 28 plus 18 minus 18, so 28. So his score is 248. Okay. How much did he score in botany among the easy questions? So we have to tell his score in botany among the easy questions. Okay. So in botany, he answered 47 questions correctly, right? 47 correct and 23 incorrect. Okay, so we have to calculate the score accordingly. So 47 into uh, 3 is 141 minus 23 that is 118. So his score in botany among the easy questions is 118. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. So if you enjoyed solving the set, please do like the video.